there's no theater gene in my family. Um, no, no one in my family had worked in theater. But um, my grandfather uh, lived in New York through, um, uh, in the United States we had the Great Depression in the, in the early uh, 1930s, uh, which was a very, very difficult time. And um, during the it was a very difficult economic time, which is not so different from today, but uh, it, he, in the Great Depression he, he managed to have a job, uh, and the only thing he spent extra money on was theater. And he went to every show he could in New York City and saved every play bill. Uh, and when he died, he gave me, he left for me, among other things, uh, his collection of play bills. So uh, there's a love of theater, obviously, that runs um, very deep in my family. But um, I started uh, as, a, as a kid, as a young, as a young guy, uh, as an actor. Um, I think mainly because I liked attention. Um, I, I think uh, at, at my dinner, at the dinner table of my family, you had to be very loud and very funny to get any attention. It was a very competitive dinner table, um, and uh, and so that's that's sort of where the the impulse began. I think. You know, there's a rule, um, a sort of rule of thumb about traditional musicals that are, you know, the 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 story, the the scene goes along, the dialogue, people talk until the emotion reaches a level at which they can't talk anymore, and that's when they burst into song. And especially, this show has so many emotional moments, and music is so full of emotion, right? You know, music can communicate emo an emotion better than any words can.